here is the backstory to Steven Taylor. So I grew up basically just kind of introverted, quiet to myself. I spent a ridiculous amount of time on the computer, online. I was playing World of Warcraft, RuneScape, every game you could think of. I just grew up just constantly exposed and on the internet all the time. A lot of my friends that I had were also the same way. The way we hung out was either at each other's houses or we would just spend a stupid amount of time playing RuneScape or World of Warcraft together. So as I grew up, I um, ended up moving to this town and there was basically nothing to do here. Like the only thing that we could do was to drive and meet up at like a local park or a playground. And other than that, like it was just straight up boring. Like there was just nothing at all. So of course I spent a lot more time on the computer growing up pretty much from the time I was eight until maybe 14, 15, 16. Ended up moving again went to a better high school, started becoming a little bit more social, made some friends, I got into wrestling, and uh, had a really solid friend group at the time. So around that time when I was a teenager, I was definitely more on like the angry side, like I had really bad road rage. Um, I was definitely into like the mixed martial arts and the fighting and stuff. And I just always felt like I wasn't like super happy or super content. On top of that, there was a lot of like family things and like childhood stuff that was going on around that time period. So that was also happening like at the peak at the same time. And uh, yeah, just for years, I just never really felt happy or content. And then sometime in high school, I randomly got assigned a mentor through a program that they had. Still to this day, I have no idea who told me to go to this mentor, who set it up, but it was one of the best things that ever happened in my high school career. So that mentor got me into reading, they got me into personal development books, helped me start setting goals, and was just like a super, super awesome guy. And uh, that kind of was the first domino that pushed me towards this whole like self-growth and like just becoming a better person kind of chapter. So at the end of high school, I actually ended up getting in a little bit of trouble and I decided not to um, finish off the year at school. And then around that time, I also had an opportunity that was presented to me and it was one of the network marketing companies. And of course, when I was like 18 and I didn't really know what was going on, I was like, yeah, why not? This sounds great. I love doing this, even though it was basically a pyramid scheme. But the one thing that I got out of that um, network marketing company that stuck with me for life was they were really, really good at helping you see your potential to have like a bigger future and to think bigger and they really honed in on the importance of like working on yourself and personal development and books and things like that. So I continued on with this uh, network marketing company for I would say about two and a half years. Um, I made a little bit of money but nothing that was like worthwhile, nothing that I would brag about. Ended up going to another network marketing company with some of the same people, still very personal development uh, focused and it was cool for a little while and then eventually just stopped. So I had probably like um, maybe about a year or two of like a gap time when I just wasn't really doing much, but something inside of me was still more pushed to like become better and like read books and like get into that stuff. So I would occasionally read like a book here and there. A lot of the stuff or actually all of the stuff was nonfiction and notable books that I read were How to Win Friends and Influence People, read a couple books about body language, read Think and Grow Rich, and a few of the other like classics, personal development books that people recommend. And um, everything was pretty good for a little while. I started serving at a restaurant or hosting at a restaurant that paid great money because it was in a vacation spot. And I really started getting deeper into like books and stuff at that time. And then, from there, eventually ended up moving out to the town I live in now. It's the most amazing place I've ever lived, one of the most amazing places I've ever seen, and it's St. Pete, Florida. But when I came out here, that's when everything just kind of like started falling into place. So I continued to keep reading books, and about two years ago, I've talked about this in another video, but two years ago, I read like 26 books in one year. And that year was like the year that my entire life like completely transformed. Like being able to grow and spend that much time like every single morning like i'd go to a coffee shop from 8 a.m until like 11 or 12 o'clock and from the moment i walked in there until i left i'd be reading a book 
And then I would go off and I would do like a bartender or server shift like later on in the night. So that was like my only focus. And one of the people that had recommended me quite a few of the books that I was reading actually ended up offering me a high paying job. And I still work that job now and I absolutely love it. But the important thing that I got out of that was when I dedicated a year to just becoming the best version of myself that I possibly can be and making like personal development the number one priority in my life, it really, really paid off. And it also just like set the pace for like every day now. Like I'm just constantly wanting to learn and grow and develop and just see how much further I can level up. So me making this channel is definitely a way to finally like take all of these things that I've learned and all of these things that like I've developed and put it out onto video format so I can see it myself and then also too I can just share it with others to try to help them. And uh, yeah, I'm just like, this just feels great to finally be doing this after all these years because it's like you're laying the foundation for a house, you're laying brick by brick and then finally you start to see the house come together and it just feels great. So pretty much like this life for me, I think is going to be super central focused around like just personal development and sharing ideas, helping people grow, growing myself. And that's kind of the backstory of just where this came from, why I'm here and what this whole thing is. So I appreciate you guys for listening. Um, just wanted to share that to set the pace before I start posting more videos and start really growing this.